Hello folks, hope you're all doing well. It's just a touch too early to be getting out potatoes on the go up here in Scotland, but there's a reason I'm doing it. And I've always, always got a reason for these things. So I was listening to the radio the other day and it was some sort of chat show. It, was just, it just came on the car when I got in the car and it was on, I was listening. And the guy was talking about a shortage of potatoes this year in the UK. I said, oh, this sounds interesting. So apparently, due to the situation in Ukraine, so in Ukraine, they grow loads and loads and loads and loads of wheat. So apparently that's not happening at the moment. And because of that, farmers in the UK are now going to be switching to using the space that they would traditionally have grown potatoes in to grow wheat. Because there's that shortage of wheat, the price of wheat has gone through the roof, just like the price of everything else. So there's potentially going to be a shortage of potatoes this year. So what better way to beat the shortage than to grow your own? And honestly, it couldn't be any simpler doing it this way in the buckets. It's even easier doing it in these buckets, I swear, than doing them in the ground because you don't have to dig anything and you get lovely, beautiful potatoes out of it. A couple of other things to mention while I'm here. One is you can see another camera possibly here. I'm going to try something. It might work, it might not work. We'll find out in a few minutes once I've tried to edit this all together. It's instead of me having to run up to the camera to sort of show you what I'm doing stage by stage, we'll have the camera from the front, the camera from above, and I'm going to try and split the screen so you can see what's going on this and that at the same time. It might work, it might not work. We'll about to find out. The other thing to mention is Apologies for the mess that you can see around about here. Just over here to the side of the camera, Project Greenhouse is on the go, so all the stuff that was over there has been dumped unceremoniously back here. So it's a bit messy, but over the next few weeks, as that project comes along, this will all get tidied up and it will look 10 times better. Anyway, enough of me waffling on. Let me get this set up and I'll be back with you in just a jiffy. And I'm back. So now you're either seeing me side by side with a funky sort of overhead shot, or you're just seeing me from the front because that's not worked, but we'll see how it goes. So these buckets, these are 30 litre buckets and they are brilliant for doing potatoes. I'll pop a link down below in the description. I've been using these particular ones for about two years now. As with everything else, like I said before, the price has probably gone up, but I'll put the link there if you want to go and have a look at them anyway. Over here in this wheelbarrow, this is spent compost. So this is compost I have used again and again, and it is perfectly good for growing potatoes in. And what I'm going to do, is put a layer in the bottom of this bucket there that's probably about, I don't know, a quarter of the way up to a third, somewhere between that. And I've put about four sort of double handfuls in there. And because this is spent compost, there's not a lot of nutrition in it. So I'm going to add two different things. One is this, this is potato and vegetable fertilizer. Be careful, like me, when you get a new box of this, it is full to the top. And when you open the little flap on the side, it has a habit, it's not going to do it because I'm on camera, of just tipping out by itself because I've already used some of these. So just watch out for that coming, spiralling out, out of the box then. I'm maybe putting, I don't know, about three quarters of a handful in there. And I'm going to do the same with our old friend, Blood Fish and Bone. And we will just mix all of that in there. And that's right at the very bottom layer there where the potatoes, where the roots are going to come down and hopefully they're going to find that nutrition. Speaking of potatoes, this is the variety that I'm doing this time. And let me put them there so you can see them. They're lovely little potatoes. This is a French variety called Belle de Fontenay. And you can see they've been chitting for a little while there in my spare room. So it's unheated and it gets some beautiful sunshine in there when it's sunny, like it is today. And you end up with lovely little chits like that. What you don't want to do is end up with chits. Like I found some potatoes in the cupboard the other day that must have been there for about six months that I'd completely forgotten about. And if it works, I'll pop the little picture up so you can see them. And my foot that you can see next to the potatoes there, my shoes are size 10, so you can see just how long and straggly that's gone. So unfortunately, they found their way into the compost bin. So speaking of this bucket, so you can see they've got handles on it and I use the handles so I know where to place the potatoes. And I'm gonna do three of these potatoes per bucket. So if you imagine the first one goes in there, We'll pop that in there at what is around about 12 o'clock on the clock and we'll get some compost and I'm going to gently just put it on top of that one because I don't want to knock it over. So we'll slowly start to build up a layer on top of here. And then in that layer, we'll put about, I don't know, about half a handful of the fertilizer and about half a handful 
of the blood fishing bone and we're just gently going to mix that in not quite as robust as we did the first layer because that potato was on the on the bottom there we're going to take another one of the seed potatoes there probably at around about four or five o'clock pop that in and then rinse and repeat with some more compost again around about two double handfuls I've put, put in there and again the same mix is going to go into that layer with the fertiliser and the blood fish and bone and again we're going to gently sort of mix it in just in that layer there not too robust again with it and we'll get our final seed potato here and we're going to put this one at around about I don't know 10 o'clock thereabouts doesn't have to be perfect and then gently on top of the seed potato we're going to pretty much top this bucket up and I'm not going to top it up right to the very top and I'll come to that in a moment because I'm going to pop something else on the top and I'll show you what that is and tell you what that's about and we're we're almost there don't worry folks nearly there maybe he's I reckon one more double handful and we're just about there oh yeah I'm gonna go for one more one more for good luck how's about that let's hope for some good potatoes right let's pop that in there smooth that off just sort of kind of leveling off and that's essentially it done what I'm gonna do on the top here is this is called something this is called something this is something called strulch and what it is is a sort of straw kind of mulch sort of stuff and I just spread it over the top there and it's going to do a couple of things one is it's a bit prickly so slugs and snails and things kind of don't like it although the potatoes are generally pretty well protected from slugs and snails anyway they don't seem to like munching on them uh, thankfully so you don't need to do too much on that front in terms of potatoes the other thing the main thing about it is is it just helps manage the moisturizer in there so it forms this layer over the top here that protects the top of that compost from the sun so it's not going to dry out really really quickly once we've watered it it's not going to dry out and one thing i must remember to do is pop a little label in there so know what's in the bucket so if you want to see how these potatoes turn out if they turn out any good or not please think about subscribing absolutely free just click the red button down below follow throughout the season and see how we get on with these one other thing to mention about Belle de Fontenay potatoes and why I'm doing them first and so early is apparently they get better with age so once they've grown once I've tipped the bucket out I'm going to put them and store them somewhere cold and dark so that they don't start sprouting for another few weeks and as they mature apparently the, the taste gets really 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 good so I reckon these will take from today around about 12 to 14 weeks to mature we'll harvest them we'll get them stored away for a few weeks after that then we should have some delicious sort of yellowy kind of flesh potatoes brilliant for salads and stuff like that so what are we now end of march so i reckon just in time for the summer for having some lovely salads and the potatoes and that be absolutely fantastic one other thing to mention is it is a little bit cold still here overnight now we were down to minus four last night but temperatures look great for the next few weeks look smashing so i think springtime might finally be here and if i can find it let me show you this so this bucket is going to go in the shed behind me it doesn't matter that it's dark in there because there's no shoots coming up yet but i am for the next few nights i'm going to pop a little bit of this all around the buckets and over the top and this is agricultural fleece and it's one of those things that people talk about and you're like what on earth is that you don't really know what it is and i'll show you there it's a little bit of sort of thin it's not even really very fleecy material and you just wrap it over the buckets or other plants and things that you might have out if there's a frost sort of forecast or things like that or you folk down south you're probably past that already but us, us up here up north we're still at a little bit of risk of, of frost coming if you don't have agricultural freeze it doesn't matter use an old towel an old bit of net curtain an old i don't know normal curtain whatever you've got knocking about the sheets that you put down for decorating something like that just lay it over your buckets if you've got them and it'll do just the job anyway that is me done for today thank you very much for watching folks and hopefully i'll see you on the next one bye for now